Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is your chef from Guru's Cooking. Dot in with chicken keema aloo matar. For the ingredients, please look at the description below. We'll start off by taking a cooking pot and putting the flame to high. Add four tablespoons of vegetable cooking oil. When the oil is hot enough, we'll be adding in two onions that have been chopped finely. and saute them for 4 to 5 minutes or until they turn translucent once your onions turn translucent they would look something like this and now it's time for us to add ginger garlic paste but i'm not adding the ginger garlic paste directly because it'll burn so i'm adding the ginger garlic paste 1 tablespoon to a little water and then i'll be pouring it on top of the onions but please make sure you don't add too much water otherwise you'll be spoiling your whole recipe once the raw flavors of the ginger garlic paste waft through the air and you know it's cooked after around 2 minutes then you'll be adding in some spices we'll begin with a quarter teaspoon of fresh turmeric powder or haldi followed by One and a half teaspoon of garam masala, one and a half teaspoon of salt to taste, and one teaspoon of red chili powder for spice. Please lower the flame now, otherwise you'll be burning your spices. And as you lower the flame, saute nicely by mixing up all the spices along with the onions and the ginger garlic paste, and saute this until. the aroma is in the air and the oil leaves and separates out from your onions and ginger garlic paste this would take you around 4 minutes at a very low flame like i said low flame my friends otherwise you'll burn the spices good that's nice so once it is done i have some nice fresh chicken minced meat with me i've bought it from the store and this is how it looks in case you don't have this available in a nearby store it should be very fine like this so you can take some fine breast pieces of chicken along with some chicken thigh pieces boneless and grind them in a grinder at your home and then prepare this mixture when you add this mixture of chicken keema please make sure that the minced meat or the chicken keema does not contain any moisture So we'll try to mix this up nicely and increase the flame to medium while we mix it. And as you mix it, you might find it it is too firm sometimes, and then you can add a little water to make it a little gooey. Please don't add once again too much water. Add it gradually as required. The total amount of water, my friends, that I added in this recipe is 100 milliliters, but I didn't add all of it at once. I added 50 milliliter, 50 milliliters first. and then i saw it was still stiff like it is right now in front of you and so i added 50 ml more <laughs> all right so add it gradually as you need it the consistency that you're looking for is something like this it should not be too gooey it should not be too hard just this much is good enough for us my friends that's nice so now we'll be adding in the other important ingredients that go into this recipe After cooking this for around three minutes, the first thing that goes in is the matar or green peas. This is around hundred grams, and two potatoes that have been peeled and sliced and cut into these small pieces. To better cook them, we have to cover it with a lid and cook it at a medium flame for around four minutes. So after four minutes, this is how it looks. Just make sure you keep checking it in between so that it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. So after four minutes, I see it has not stuck to the bottom of the pan, and those big chicken pieces, which you can see, are actually breaking down into small keema separated out pieces. That looks so amazing, isn't it? Good. Now we'll add some spice, two green chilies, slit, 
and fresh coriander for aroma garnished well and good. We'll now reduce the flame from medium to low and simmer this at a low flame and cook this by covering it with the lid for around 10 to 12 minutes. Remember friends, the amount of time chicken should take overall should not be more than 20 minutes. Otherwise it will become like a rubber chewy. So it's been around 12 minutes cooking at a low flame and this is how it looks. Amazing. Can you see that? The beautiful colors of the chicken. Kima, aloo mutter. The taste, the protein, the diet, the energy, the veggies, the spice and the love of chicken bits that go into this recipe is just amazing. One thing that you have to be sure about is the consistency in the end. As you can see there is a little moisture left in this recipe. It is okay. It is actually in fact very good. You should not dry out all the moisture otherwise your chicken will be too dry. And in the end to check what you will have to do is take a knife, pierce it through the potato. If it breaks open easily it means you are done. And that is the time you know that you have to put off the flame and your chicken is now ready to be served. But one last final important thing, to add some tanginess to this, we'll add half a lemon juice and squeeze it on top. But please make sure you do this only if you put off the flame and then, just before serving, add the lemon. Don't add the lemon and then keep cooking. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Chicken Kheema, Aloo Mutter. Serve it with love to your friends and family members along with some Kheema, Pao, or Kima naan or chapatis. Eliana and I am here to share some important information with you. We are offering an Amazon gift voucher worth rupees 10,000 to one lucky subscriber each month. So if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and get lucky. Remember, only one lucky subscriber will win a gift voucher every month. You can also enjoy these recipes my friends if you love my video please post down your comments in the section below and do share and like lots of love thank you so much for watching enjoy